Hey, Roger from DWJ. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go through the initial setup wizard for a new Nuvico Excel TNP 3200 AI2 16P recorder. This recorder features 16 internal PoE ports and can handle an additional 16 channels using the LAN port and an external PoE switch. So the setup wizard is the first thing that you're going to see when you power up the recorder. So for the first part of the wizard, you're going to see a language on the left-hand side and locality on the right. So basically, I'm going to keep, keep this as English, and you'll want to choose uh, where in the country or other region that you are. I'll keep this and just click Next. Here we see the privacy statement. We want to just click on I've read and agreed to the privacy statement and click on OK. Your next page is gonna be the time wizard. We're gonna set the time for the recorder. Uh, for this, the first feature is your time zone. Again, it will default to the time zone that you've selected from the previous menu, uh, or you can make changes here uh, if you wanna fine tune it. Say I wanted to go into the, cu the Cuba time zone, or if I wanted to display the New York time zone here. Here we can select off your system time and we can use the mouse scroll button to change through date and time for month, day, and year. And we can select the format, either 12, uh, either 12 hour or 24. An important feature is the daylight savings time feature. This will allow the recorder to automatically set the time for the recorder so that you know when you play back video uh, that it has the correct time uh, on playback. We want to make sure DST is on and the synchronous feature is set to NTP when the recorder is connected to a network. This will have the recorder go out to find a time server on the internet to set an accurate time for the recorder. Clicking on next brings us to the admin password setup. The recorder has an admin user, which is a super user, uh, any other administrative account added to the system after the admin account won't be able to make any settings changes to the admin account here. So this is a very important that we give this a, a complicated password uh, that, is, uh, that is not the default. If the recorder does come with the default password, we highly recommend that you change that password uh, at the very first install. Here I'll put in a complicated password and you'll see that the, uh, there's a meter that shows how, how complicated the password is. We wanna make sure that uh, you fill as many green bars as you possibly can. We wanna duplicate that password and make choices to decide whether we wanna use uh, display the password uh, here with this feature or if we want to log in automatically with this feature here. I'm going to uncheck those. I don't want it to display and I do not want to log in uh, automatically. A handy feature now is the pattern unlock. We've given the recorder a complicated password, but for ease of access and for a quicker uh, access to your recorder, you can enable a pattern lock to quickly go into and out of the recorder. It will ask you to repeat the pattern twice, and once we do that, we see that the pattern lock is now enabled, and now anytime that I'm logging in, I can choose to either go in with the password uh, by typing it in uh, or using the pattern lock. Clicking next now brings us to the question and answer setup for a lost password. We previously just entered a very complicated password. What we can do here is add a question and answer combination that will help us unlock the recorder in the case of a lost path password. So here I can put in, say, um, first car. as a question and then an answer of Honda. 
clicking on add will add it to the list of questions that the recorder will ask to be answered to unlock the password for the recorder. The more questions that you put in, the more questions you'll have to answer if you need to retrieve a password. Clicking next now brings us to the disk. The next page is gonna bring you to the disk settings pages and Nubico Excel recorders come with the hard drive pre-installed and pre-formatted. We can simply click next to continue. Now here is the remainder of the setup wizard. We do not need to see this wizard the next time the system boots up, so we're gonna click uncheck the enable wizard next time feature. We'll click on wizard setup, and now we are going into the IP address settings of the recorder. By default, it's going to automatically assign an IP address when your recorder is connected to a network. If you need to make fine tune settings for a specific IP address that you need to use, we would uncheck obtain an IP address, and then we would put in the IP address that we want the recorder to have here. Uh, below that, we would put in the subnet mask, and below that, the gateway, and then we can deal with changing uh, preferred DNS here and here. On the right-hand side, you'll see an internal ethernet port. This is the network port that the network addresses that will be assigned to your cameras that are physically connected to the recorder. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a port settings. The port settings are, the main ports that you're gonna be interested in is the HTTP port for access through the web and the server port, which is going to stream the video uh, remotely to the, uh, to the mobile app and to CMS software and also to browsers. Clicking next, it brings you to the add camera wizard. Now, if you have cameras physically plugged in, what you will see is cameras at the bottom of the screen that are already physically added, and the recorder will go out and also find on the network any additional cameras that it can see on the network. If you need to add any particular camera, you'll hit the plus symbol here, and it will add it into the list of recorders, and you can edit the password for that, for that camera that you've added to make sure that it has uh, communication and access to the recorder. Clicking on next brings us to the recording settings. Now here you'll have a couple of different settings. By default, the recorder will be set to basically record any of the possible ways that it can record uh, out of the box. So the radio button for always 24-7, record, motion record, sensor record, and AI record are already checked off. Uh, for this, you might not be recording by sensor. Uh, that's using the inputs on the back of the recorder uh, for, uh, for a sensor feature uh, to trigger a recording. So in that particular case, if we're not using the sensor record, we don't need to check that off. Maybe we only want to record on motion to save uh, recording storage. So we would check motion record here. Leaving the mode as auto lets the recorder decide when the, uh, when the motion and recording features will, be, will happen for each camera. So basically any camera that gets connected will automatically get the motion record uh, option applied to it. Clicking on next here, we come to the QR code page. This allows, when enabled, this feature allows the recorder and the mobile app or CMS Plus Lite client to connect to the recorder without uh, forwarding ports through your router. Uh, this uses a peer-to-peer -peer client uh, to make the connection uh, from the recorder to the, to the mobile app or the remote app. If you do not want to use NAT, if you want to harden the system and you do not want to use NAT and you prefer to port forward, you uncheck that and then you would click next to continue. Next page is your cloud upgrade feature. This feature, uh, when enabled, uh, allows the recorder to automatically go out and check for new firmware uh, when it's connected to the internet. For the cloud upgrade feature, you do need uh, NAT 2.0 and you need NAT enabled from the previous page. 
And that basically takes you to the main screen, back to the main screen where we can now use the password that we just uh, established to log into the system. Uh, when I log in, I have the choice of either typing in the password here or I can change the login mode and use the pattern that I established during the setup process to enter the settings of the uh, recorder. And this concludes this video on the initial setup of Anubico Excel NVR.